Okay, this is a uh, Toyota Highlander. So all of a sudden, carburetor cleaner. I'm going to clean the, uh, the solid body. So I have to remove. box cover out so you have to remove the plug remove the hose loosen this hose and loosen the screw over there in order to remove, remove this part so we can uh, reach the uh, solar body over there okay the first thing I'm gonna do is take out the, the plug the mass air sensor push down the tap take it out Second thing is, move this one up, move the clip, push this one out, the weight go left and right, pull it out, and then the hose here. The last thing is the uh, loosen the the bow over there. Okay, Phillips screwdriver. It's loosened. Last thing to do is clip here. Just in a clip. Take out the air filter and you can pull that thing out. You pull and push it out. Don't, don't pull it this way, you could break it. So push it from pull finger on the edge. Pull it like this. Okay, I'll lose. Bungee cord, move the whole house away. Got the uh, other song. Oh, I didn't get anyone from uh, war. Walmart or uh, Amazon. Let me spray. So don't do what I did, spraying directly on the plate. Instead, spray. On a paper towel. And then wipe on it. And clean it that way. Don't spray it directly on a plate because if the solution get in between here and go into the uh, the sensor, see the sensor over there. So if the solution go inside here, get to the sensor, it may damage the sensor. So don't spray directly like that. Spray.
spray it on a paper towel or a cloth and then wipe it and clean it that way instead so you won't damage the sensor wow yeah that's how it's clean it's dirty See, move the, uh, the flip. Wow, it's all black. Much better, so I think that's all. See how dirty they are? This is the second one. The last one is just a lot cleaner after just a few. Okay, to push thing back. Push all the way in, make sure. Tighten the screw, but not too tight, otherwise it will damage this part. So check it. It doesn't come out. It just doesn't move around. That's how tight, tight enough. So the next thing is to uh, secure the uh, the box. So you see to pull all this back. And put the filter back. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is push this back in here. Okay, so in. You clip, clip back to where the mark is before. Let's go down here. And make sure you hear the clip. So check this before we leave. This is tight, so it's not loose, it's not loose, tight, this is good, clip back, this is back in here, this one back in here, it's all secure, and the last this one is in. All right, it's all clean. Okay, after you clean your throttle body, uh, you may have, the problem I have is a higher than normal idle RPM. It's like around over a little bit, 1,000 RPM. The car is not running, it's idle. And uh, uh, I've read from online that it's normal. It takes time for the computer to relearn. Uh, so I have to drive it for about two to three miles, between two to three miles, probably, for the computer to relearn and to see what happened.
Now I've drove uh, 2.6 miles and the idle RPM back to normal. So it is very common from what I read that after you clean the throttle body, the idle RPM is kind of high and the computer have to relearn it. So this is how it is now, 2.6 miles. It's normal idle RPM. All right, thank you.